Hello everyone, this is Yamin and uh, welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make navigation menu in HTML using CSS. So I will make this really simple for you to understand and I will show you everything step by step. So first of all, here you can see this is some basic HTML and inside the body, we are going to write over here UL tag. And inside the UL tag, we are going to have a list tag. And inside this list tag, we are going to have a anchor tag. Okay, anchor tag opening and anchor tag closing. So here, let's first see over here inside the anchor tag, let's say home. And let me just copy this list tag, control C, and I'm going to paste it three times. One, two, and three. So after home, let's see over here, blog, then we we'll say here about us, and here we'll say contact. Okay, so right now if we save it and if we refresh our browser, here we can see home, blog, about us and contract. So right now we are going to uh, have this UL tag inside a div so that we can write some CSS to make it looks like a navigation menu, a proper navigation menu. So here we will mention a div, we will say here div, this div will start over here before this UL tag and this div will end after this ul closing tag okay so let's give it a class name for this div and let's say over here class and let's say this class name will be nav so let's save it and uh, right now we'll go inside the head section and inside this head section we're going to mention a style tag and inside this style we're going to write some css so that we can make this into a navigation menu okay so here first of all we have the class nav so for class first of all we need to give a dot then we are going to mention nav then we'll give two second bracket and first of all we are going to choose the background color for the navigation menu let's say background color it will be sky blue so right now if we save it then if we refresh here here you can see a background color and if i just make it bigger uh, here you can see now let's see over here just make sure that width is 100 percent and uh, we are going to say height for this background color let's say the height for this background color will be 60 px we do not want uh, this long background color we only will make it a little smaller here you can see it's a little bit smaller and here you can see there is some gap over here uh, let me just make it bigger there you can see there is some gap over here at the top and at the left side as well so we'll make the top and the left gap disappear but not now let's just write the other tag so here you can see inside the nav tag we have the ul tag so here after this nav we are going to give dot nav then we'll say ul so we'll write nav then ul because this ul tag inside the nav tag so that is the reason we are writing it like this so inside this nav ul we'll say here list style it will be none so if i just save this save this list style none and if we refresh here you can see that dot before the home is gone and right now we will have this inside the center of our browser so for it we'll say text align it will be center save and refresh and there you can see it is in the center so right now we are going to write some css for the list tag so this time we'll see our here dot nav then ul then li then we'll give not this then we'll give to second bracket so here you can see the ul is inside the nav and the li is inside the ul so that's why we first write nav ul then li so right now what we want is that we want the list to be in a single line not in a four line so for this we we'll see our here display it will be in line block if we save it now it will be in a single line let me just refresh and then you can see it is in a single line if i make it bigger there you can see it is always in the center because we mentioned over here text align center and it is in a single line because we see our heart here display inline block so after this list uh, we are going to write the css for the anchor tag step by step so here right now we'll see our here dot nav then ul li 
and anchor tag so here you can see under the text there's a underline first of all let's make it disappear so for it we'll say over here text decoration it will be none and i make a spelling list over here block i mean the l is bigger let's say block so right now we say it over here text decoration none so if we refresh now here you can see the underline is gone so right now let's make some uh, gap at the top so that it is in the center so for it we are going to say padding and at the top and at the bottom we want 20 px gap so we'll say over here 20 px and among the two options home block or block about us we want some gap so for it so uh, i mean on the right and left side we want some gap let's say the gap will be 20 px so there will be some gap at the top and at the bottom it will be 20 px and on the left and on the right side there will be 20 px gap so right now if i save then refresh there you can see there is some gap so right now uh, we are going to say over here display it will be block so right now uh, if we say over here display block then block then it will turn into a block so uh, it will be in the center so if i now refresh there you can see so right now we will uh, consider every anchor tag as a block so right now it is in the center that is why and we can also change the text background color as well let's say over here text color it will be white say refresh here you can see it is white let's also make it bolder so we say over here front width width it will be bold bold or bolder let's say bolder save it refresh and here you can see it is a little bit bolder so right now what we want is that if we take our cursor on the option on any option we want the background color to be changed for that specific option or specific anchor tag so for it uh, what we want is that let me just copy this and i'll paste it here nav ul li anchor tag so what we want if, if we hover our cursor on any option the color needs to be changed right so we we'll give a clone over here then we'll say over here hover and that's all then we'll give two second bracket and we are going to say over here background color it will be green save then refresh and okay okay we cannot have any gap over here uh, we need to remove those so right now let's save it then ref refresh and if i take my cursor over here here you can see the color is changed so right now we'll fix this here you can see at the top and at the left side there's some gap so here we are going to say body to second bracket then we are going to say over here margin it will be zero and padding it will be zero save refresh okay the left side is solved but that top cap is still there so let me just copy this margin zero and padding zero and i'm going to paste it inside the uh, ul tag nav ul paste save then refresh and there you can see so it is now at the top there is no gap at the top so right now in order to make it look better let's say let's change the background color from sky blue to black and refresh okay now this looks better now let's just add a background image so that it looks complete so for it what we'll do is that uh, let me just mention a div over here and inside this div we're going to mention an image tag and we have a lot of image over here here we have a t dot jpg let's say over here tree dot jpg and let's say over here width will be 100% save it then let's refresh so here you can see there is the background color but uh, we will make this navigation menu always appear at the top so for it all we have to do is that we have to write uh, over here in the nav we have to write over here position it will be fixed save it then refresh and right now if i just go down you can see that the navigation menu is always there so yeah this is how you can make navigation menu in html using css i tried to make this code 
and try to explain everything as much as possible i hope you understand whatever i said and i will also give this code in the description or in the first comment you can just check it out the comment section or the description so thank you very much for watching i would actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next tutorial